Hello everybody, this is Zigzag Zug coming to you from somewhere in this world, and it is time for another mission, this time Operation Ghost Shriek. It's a small town in Advent Patrol Zone 19 on the outskirts of Townsville. And we are going to be raiding an Advent Depot, hopefully getting some good stuff out of this. Of course, it's never easy. We only have a team of five, and I've predicted that we're going to have six crates to pick up. <laughs> I never get the six crates, it seems, when I have a team of six, but I'm kind of counting on it. <laughs> it's just the way it works sometimes. Let's go find out. Yep, there's six. I told you there'd be six. <laughs> oh, baby. Did I call this or what? We never get six when I want to have six, when I bring six. But lo and behold, the one mission where I can't squeeze in a sixth individual, that's when we get six. So we will not be picking everything up this time. So it's kind of a... Head on out and then uh, return back the way we were. The only good thing about that kind of a thing or that kind of a setup is we kind of go through the return zone. So we've already cleared it out. So our return trip, hopefully, is uh, been cleared out already by us. So, Frog, you're the guy to lead it and, you know, make sure we're safe where we want to go. Now, as far as the overview, we're kind of... Uh, yeah, we're kind of starting out in the middle on the back, so we could go left, we could go right, but, you know, the stuff's more on the right, so I guess we're going to go up the middle on this one and see what we find. So, Frog, lead the way to the infamous trash can. J'y vais tout de suite. And we don't see anything. Should we try yet another trash can to take a peek? And let's... Hmm... You know, I hate moving uh, as extensively on a on a second yellow move. So we'll we'll move forward, but not amaze not all the way up to the car. How about that? Je rejoins la position. All right. There are some challenging enemies on the map for us today. We've got a muton and a sidewinder. That takes a little bit of firepower to take care of a pod like that. And especially when you can't get super close to them. <laughs> oh, baby. So we're, we're going to do our best as to set ourselves up, get as close as we can to take them out. In fact, I think what I want to try to do in this spot, we're going we're gonna to try to set ourselves up. We Obviously, we can't go here, here, or here, but I can go there. I can't go there. For some reason, that one's good. Maybe there's just something in the way that I can't figure out. But I'm thinking, uh, because we have armor to worry about, I'm bringing Avaroth up there to get as close as we can with that grenade. And by the way, your overwatch wouldn't matter anyway. Aye, aye, Commander. And then we're going to get everybody else up there as close as we can to provide overwatch, because I'm assuming we're going to activate this very, very, very next turn. Finally. So I want as many big guns as I can get Just up front. Just follow the cheese. Yeah, follow the cheese, as you know, com Commander said. Yeah, what well, you know, whatever. Whatever you say. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what I said. Whatever. Let's overwatch. Scanning. Got it covered makes perfect sense and have them wander right into us i'm sure yep oh commander did you hit, hit the armor. oh we did hit and we 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 hit him well no free shots Come please guys no free shots okay now the good news is excuse me camera uh we, if we had somebody that could reliably hit for five over there, well, this isn't an, even a reliable hit for five over there, is it now? 
That's a reliable hit for three and shredding armor. So I almost feel like let's uh, let's use the grenade over here. We always have down here where it feels like it could be safer. We always have a running gun potentials. Well, before I, I, I waste my grenade, it makes sense to check out because you're way over on the far side. You would be able to run and gun. Okay, so run and gun is in play if we think we need it. So grenades going on the snake. Prone cocktail coming up. And we're gonna need one more shot on the snake. But it shouldn't be that difficult of a shot, right? Shouldn't be. Uh, which also means a uh, you, Avaroth. Hmm. Well, I think what we're going to do right here is we are going to go and see if we can finish off the snake. I got something over here. You want some more? Good shot, Boomer. And then, you know what we're going to do over here? Ah, the Overwatch. I forgot about the Overwatch bullet. I was thinking, oh, we got Walkfire we can follow up with. Well, we're still going to take it. It's only 30%. And I'm thinking we can take him out. I didn't think that was going to be the shot that did it, but I'm thinking we'll be able to take him out. So, let's just do the run and gun right now and find out if this is what's going to do it for us. Because a shotgun, as wonderful as this shot may be, is not a guarantee. No, I didn't do the run and gun! Holy smokes. Well, oh yeah, I did do the run and gun. Oh, I was thinking, yeah, it's on cooldown. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Two seconds earlier, I hit run and gun, and then I all of a sudden didn't think I did it. <laughs> the confidence of the commander. Well, we don't want the minimum damage, because minimum damage will not kill him. You wanted this. Thank you, Nefertiti, for not dealing me. minimum damage. Someone want to take that. Commander was ready with his buddy-buddy uh, move for you if we had to get you out of danger. Now I can come over here with you, Frog, continue our essential move forward. We're going to kind of clear out this side a little bit and then angle over towards the goods. That's, that's the way I'm thinking, at least. Position confirmé. Elite, not just plain, but elite hair trigger and another Illyrium core. Very good. Let's kind of peek up here a little bit and take a look. Je confirme. Force ennemie repérée. And we found more. And ooh, baby, such a pod. Advent mech and an advent officer. And that's the kind of pod when it activates, they could run straight forward and potentially flank you. You know why? Because there's full cover right there. So we're going to have to be real careful moving forward. Fortunately, we can move fairly far. In fact, it's not going to keep me on Overwatch, though. That, that's what I have to... Because our Overwatch, to be quite honest, was quite effective on this last play. And I would like to give us a chance for just as effective Overwatch... So I'm gonna I'm gonna put Commander here on Overwatch. Good. That way, if they do wander towards us, we'll have another chance. Yep. Of course, if they heard noise, oh, no, they heard noise. They could be shooting at Commander standing in the open. But we got lucky that they didn't quite see us. They are definitely on yellow alert. So I think from now on, Commander will be taking cover, and so will everybody else. I know they're kind of... I don't want to risk moving too far forward, but I do want to gain sight of them. Let's try this at first. Go. And we see them. Okay, that, that allows me to move a little more confidently with Frog, but we'll keep them there for the moment. At least we see them so we know where we can, like that, and cannot move. Commander can move here. 
at least have an essence of cover. I guess we'll call it that. Groovy. And he can get his groove on over there. Uh, Nefertiti, I would like nothing better than to get you a little bit closer, at least as close as we can, because you have burned your running gun, so I do need you somewhat close. Now, as far as your teammate, who the heck is it? I can't remember. But, that's right, I should know that one. It's Commander. So there could be a chance to still get you close enough here if, if well, the thing is we lose out on Commander's laser shot. So we'll just see how this plays out. Maybe a grenade will be what you're close enough for. I don't know, but I'm getting you as close as I can get you. Don't slow me down. And I have to get everybody else. There's, there's someone I'm missing. There's a couple somebodies I'm missing back here. And we gotta get you guys a little bit closer. None of those closers are over here, so... Hmm, none of those closers. Well, maybe if I do this and get Boomer as close as I can get Boomer... Well, he's not gonna be on Overwatch either, but at least we can re reload him. At least there's that. And I think I'll keep you there, Boomer. We don't have vision over here, so hopefully that doesn't see anything. But I'm bringing you here for a reload. Let's move already. Reloaded. And then we're going to try getting you, Avaroth, near enough for a potential grenade coming up. And since they're kind of moving in this direction, we'll keep you behind the same trash can. And even though that's not an effective Overwatch per se, we'll set it. Eyes peeled for Maybe the that pro. one tick, if you're lucky enough to hit, Spiny. will make a difference. Moving to Overwatch. And even if they activated, I don't think they can flank you from there. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna keep you there. Because if I move you here, maybe they could charge down towards us. I'll tell you what. Let's just play it even safer and back you off. Because they're pretty close right now. Tower. Oh, when we found potentially more. That's good eyes. Good eyes, frog. And here they come. They found us. And we hit again on Overwatch. Every little bit That's often right. helps. Problem is, how are we going to get hit? Oh, wow. It means all hands on deck now for this big clunky thing. But that's a good thing, because this other pod didn't activate. And so we get to handle this big clunky thing all by our lonesome. So, first thing we're going to do with the BCT, the big clunky thing. I had to pause a moment to think of the letters. Uh, we're going to go uh, take away some of the armor on this thing. I know it's just one enemy. I think that one's worth a grenade. Prune cocktail coming up. Okay. So maybe that wasn't exciting, but Avaroth, you did your job. And what I'm uh, leaning towards here is bringing you up here, Nefertiti, just because I don't think. Yeah, I don't think your grenade was going to reach. So, I want to get you just a little bit closer. And we'll go, we'll play it safe. We won't make sure anything moves in that direction for that other pod. Because I saw a purifier. I think one of those was a purifier. We're coming right here. You're going to throw a grenade and strip the other bit of armor. Don't waste my time. As we wait for your running gun to reset. I think this is a nice play. Bombs away! And damage wise, we're not doing a whole heck of a lot. But I'll tell you, we stripped that armor. Boy, didn't we? And we, that means we get two shots with you, Boomer. And without armor, I think two shots just might be enough. interesting. Woo! You see that? Yeah, I saw it. 
It went just according to plan. <laughs> How nice is that when the, when the plan works like that? That's, <laughs> you know... How often can we say that's the way the plan worked? Now, these guys could be on yellow alert now, running towards us. So I think uh, we're going to kind of keep you in full cover here, Frog, but keep our eyes open out there. We've got essentially half the map activated right now. So if they're going to come running towards us, let's let's put you in corner cover to keep an eye on them from here. And we see them. Oh, they've already come this way. Oh, I'm glad. You're in corner cover now. Okay, so we got to set up with anybody who's remaining. Namely you, Zigzag, and we're not going to move you any closer. Now this is all half cover. So the overwatch is coming from here as they move towards us. Yep. Of course. Now we'll keep you on emergency overwatch just in case. And once again, we got that weird cockeyed yellow alert. And we get another chance that allows us the potential for instance, to come over here and pick up the loot with you, Frog, and not activate them. So we don't have to worry about losing out on this loot. J'avance. Uh, J'ai le bidule. Advanced scope. It's nice seeing stuff. And I think I kind of like you in this corner cover, and I'm going to bring you right on back. Je me dirige vers les coordonnées. Keep you as hidden for as long as we possibly can. Now, wow, I guess we're moving you here, Avaroth. Oi, oi. Okay, as close as we can for potential grenade. I am also gonna move you as far forward as I can. Let's see, we cannot move you any closer there. Nefertiti, unfortunately, we do not, will, or I should say, we will not have the luxury of run and gun. So we're going to reload Overwatch you. Oh, yeah. Since we can't really move. And I would love nothing better. Maybe what I just do, because if they run towards us, well, at, least we'll have, at least we'll have a chance for the Overwatch. Let's reload. It's killing time. And hope that they run towards us when they uh, find out. We're over here. Scanning. And I will not move Commander here. We'll do the Hold same on. maneuver. Yeah. Come get some. Eyes peeled for the pro. Do they see us? No. They, they ran away again. And they did not find us. So the question is, I don't know. Look at that, we can't reach them. And I don't know that we can reach them. We gotta watch that timer too. Um, I don't think, yeah, just because we're, we're a few spaces short and I don't think we're gonna, we're gonna be able to, to reach them. Doggone it. So I guess uh, we're going to assume they're going to continue moving forward. I, I hate having a loose pod, especially of this caliber out there. A sergeant and a purifier. And the problem is if I move up to launch my grenade, they scatter and no, no longer are they attempting grenade target. So once again, about all we can do is, is hope... We'll try one more overwatch round. Otherwise, if they keep moving in that direction, we'll have to try coming in behind them to, to pick up some crates is what we're going to have to do. And unfortunately, that, that gives me the sense that we just may run into them on the way out uh, by doing that. And there's really no really good way... Well, you know what? 
because of the, the way that covers, I could have gotten up there for a grenade. Do I have enough movement with everybody else? I don't have run and gun. So you know what? I think we're going to play the patient game, even though the timer is making me feel like we're stretching it just a bit too much. Being on yellow alert, I don't want to take that kind of coverage. So we're going to stay covered. Copy that. We need to move. As best we can. And I'm going to bring you up here just because uh, your running gun then should be back, right? That's why I'm counting on, at least. There better be something there. Yeah, there's a barrel to hide behind. That's what's there. Let's go and frog. Now, if they react, they could easily run straight back here. So I definitely don't really want to push you forward. But in a way, I kind of want to put you here. So if we end up going live, because that would mean six out of nine active, now would be the time to bring you into it and make you active. I don't think they'd get this far. So I'm going to bring you forward. And even if I'm wrong, like I said, we're probably going to bring you bring you live and bring you active. I want you as close as we can get. So let's overwatch. And hope they... The, the hope is they kind of wander into our overwatch enough, change direction enough. I'm on it! Uh-oh. They have company. Now, all of a sudden, this is what I'm saying. We can get this far. Problem is, I don't really want you standing out in the open. Let's just see how far... Holy smokers. Affirmative. So it's one pod or the other, is what it is. And I guess this one has the armor, that one doesn't. And they see us, and the sergeant took damn good positioning. I mean, damn good positioning. In fact, he can see Avaroth. So that is a definite, I mean a definite problem. And you are in full cover from where we are, unless I came over here. Problem is, I would think we activate those guys by coming here. No, according to those symbols, we have to go pretty far over to activate. So if I come here, well, they're telling me, oh, I guess because he's he's not right now. So that actually would be a flank. Holy smokes, are you feeling boomer? Like taking a flank shot? Gets you kind of close to the uh, Snickers. Here I come. And I'm thinking uh, I'm going to use up a bit of ammo from you, just to make sure. You can't handle me. And he is a frozen statue because of that explosion. Or will he fall because we're stuck? There he goes. There we go. He fell. No, he's still a frozen statue. And we're going to get yet another explosion from it. But the snakes, well, I know they hear us. While I know they hear us. The problem is if I take one step, he's going to see us. And therefore, once I take that step, now we still, if we're lucky, if we're lucky, maybe they don't because there's no window here. So, Frog, 
I'm gonna bring you here and then we'll finish up the flesh. I think it counts from where we start at the very, very, very beginning of our move. So it will be end up being a double move coming here and then hooking around, I think. Well, just to be safe, I could bring you all the way this way. Then we can hit flesh and come back and hopefully finish the sergeant and not. The whole, tr uh, the whole attempt for this is to, well, the other thing we could do, just to make sure, a ghost walker will hide you a little extra. So maybe in this process, uh, you'll be seen by the sergeant. What I'm trying to do is hope you're not going to be seen by the snakes. Je suis même pas là. In fact, you know, at this point, I don't care if he sees you there, but I'm pretty sure because there's a wall here, the snakes, is there any windows? There's a window here, but I don't think that would allow any vision over here. So we're playing this move to try and not activate those snakes. And your sword better be true because we don't have a lot of answers beyond that. Bye, Jive. Okay, he saw you. Well, we knew that was gonna happen. There. Good job, Frog. You did, you did your job. Now. We don't have sight on the, the snakes, though, so pretty much the rest of us. And fortunately, you, Nefertiti, have running gun back, so I'm feeling better about that. And Commander, we, we just don't we just don't know, so uh, we're going to keep you two here. They're probably going to see you two who can't be on Overwatch. Let's just hope they scatter towards us. On Overwatch. And we have a chance. Good. Um, oh no, there goes the explosion to draw them even closer, and no! They didn't come towards us. So let's do this. Aberroth, let's get you what should be good cover. Affirmative. And they moved away. No, we just don't see over there. We don't see over there. And I feel like I want to reload you, and therefore I'm keeping you right there. Good to go. So this is spooky freaky. The time counter is a dropping. The time counter is a dropping. So we're gonna bring, we're gonna bring a commander up here to full cover. He'll have a slightly different angle. So if they're still sitting where they were, maybe we'll see him from here. Yeah. And sure is seeming like they've uh, decided to make haste to other parts of the map. I should be out there hunting. And I'm kind of feeling like uh, we're just gonna overwatch where it makes sense. And then we have a crate there. We have crates downstairs. We got three downstairs. Four. So four are downstairs. We'll have to at some point go upstairs for another crate. So maybe Frog, we're going to make that your job. So let's get you over here. There's a chance there's windows, but we're at a distance too. But to see, Chef. And no, we don't see him. And the thing is, we can actually get up to this one in a blue move next turn. And then we got to worry about the ones indoors really, really fast after this. We're going to have to move. So let's just overwatch everybody at this snake's stage is what I'm thinking. Eyes peeled for the pro. Come get some. Yeah. Covered. And who who still has something to do here? Oh, I'm in the zone. <laughs> That's why I'm in the exit zone. Let's end it. And they they are not coming towards us. Let's go see if they slithered up to the roof. And on 
the blue move, we can still escape. C'est faisable. Qu'est-ce que j'en fais de ce truc? And now, we're gonna have to start moving inside at some point. See, there's windows on there's windows on the other side of the building where they could have gone. No problem, boss. Oh, this is this is uh, freaking commander out just a little bit. I don't I don't like not knowing where they are. I think what we'll do is bring you Nefertiti over to the corner. There's a whole bunch of crates in there. Let's get this show on the road. We still don't see him. In fact, there's two crates up top. Oh wait, there's one crate up top, and that this one that I thought was a crate on top is actually downstairs. So we're moving over in this direction. All right. And that could have been a mistake. Let's find out. No. So. We're just moving to the building and hustling as fast as we can. Affirmative. Got it. Because we got to pick up some crates and we got to still get out of here. Okay, they're in the back of the building. They are in the back of the building. So the question then becomes, I'm kind of leaning towards uh, hustling you way over here, Nefertiti. Because we have no choice but to hustle. And I don't think this high up we're likely to see them. Roger that. I hope. I hope we've not misjudged angles. No, we have not. And we'll keep you up here, Frog, because you're decent with snakes. And we know they're over towards this side. You've picked up your carton. And uh, since there's, what, two snakes, we figured, uh, maybe you'll come in handy since we still have to escape from this distance anyway. C'est comme vous voudrez. Now, I gotta make some more moves downstairs. And I'm worried that coming here, now is there, there's not a lot of windows here. There is a window here that worries me. That's for dang sure. So, and that would make noise. Unless I come here, then we don't make too much noise. Aye, aye, Commander. And we don't see him through that window. So are they all the way back on this side without a window, or have they gone inside? I kind of don't want to peek quite yet. But at the same time, we can get to two... I, I want to get closer so we can potentially get these things on a blue move. So I don't see windows here. We didn't really see them through that window. Here's where we do a little finger crossing. Aye, aye. And we're okay. Now, let's do this. I'm gonna go some more with you, Boomer, this time. So we have two in this room, so we gotta send two of you over here. Well, no, I technically don't have to get this one because there's only five of us. So I just gotta get in position. If we pick these two up, we're okay. Tired of waiting around. Oh, this has me slightly nervous. And then this is a blue move away, and I'm not gonna push it yet 
in case we gain sight through that window. So Commander's just gonna overwatch. Yeah, I know. Shut up. Listen! And we hear them. They're out there. They're probably down there. Well, let's pick this thing up. Got this thing here. Who's taking it? But let's not move you two quite yet. Because Commander very, may very well activate them when he picks up his chest. Yeah, I know. Plus, they'll hear that. Gracias. Can you get there in one move? Yes. Finally. And we still don't see him. Let's not open the door. Let's open the chest. So, here it is. And this is a wall. And I just have a sense that they're on the other side of the freaking wall. Copy that. And they sure hear us cracking through the windows. Got it. Right now, that's like the least of my worries. Well, dude. Start backing some of us off. Let's do this. And we only got two turns to go. I'm kind of leaning towards keeping Commander here on Overwatch. Groovy! And then backing you folks. I'm back over here. Will do! Zikul! Don't be shy! Commander, we're losing the AO and yeah. our forces in the process. Fortunately, we don't I have far to run. We consider pulling the squad out of there. So, Commander, if we run you here... We're gonna crash through windows and, uh, and whatnot. Let's send you on a blue move first in case this gains sight of them. Makes perfect sense. Nope. I'm amazed. Uh, and that's not a guarantee that you'll be able to make it out, so I'm double moving you. Yes. So we won't have your overwatch. And I think we're going to have to double move your teammates that are inside. To in front of the window Let's first. Move already. And we still did not find them. There's the statue. Here I come. They're on yellow alert, so my big fear is that they're able to come around the corner and shoot at us. But that's just a risk we're gonna have to take. Well, dude. Okay, let's get everybody else moving. I'm thinking, uh, yeah, with moving blue moves, at least we'll have uh, some folks. Don't waste my time. Not Overwatch. Affirmative. Covering now. And... Now you see, you can make it out now, Frog. So I'm gonna... I don't know. I guess I'll bring you here. And everybody should be able to make it out next turn. There's something out there. They're still back in that corner. Ooh, he's still coming. I guess snakes don't have the best sense of hearing, is what we've learned today. Of course. Getting it done. They can't sense or smell with their tongue. Go please, you oh, no. Even a misclick is not going to deter us. Go be that. On it. Now that's a good time. Avenger, this is Firebrand. Package is secure. Je crois qu'on n'est pas seul. Mm. 
Et des forces d'advent en visuel. Now, we're going to have to get over this misclick habit because there will come a time where these guys are able to unload and at the same time overwatch. But Frog just wanted his chance to stick his tongue out at Advent. What can I say? And he's not going to kill him with his little gun, so let's just go. Just plus là. All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. All right, good job, team. It was uh, slightly stressful by, by those dang snakes that went and showed themselves and then disappeared. I guess they wanted to live because we would have taken care of them, don't you think? There we go. The team is ready. Commander is hyped right now in the middle. Good job, team. Vengeance falls. The Resistance has sent us to aid you. Huh, Carpe Diem sees the day. If it improves morale, then I suppose there is no harm in it. And despite the destruction left in their wake, XCOM refuses to let go of the ways of the old world. They will continue their wanton and reckless crimes until the entire world burns around them. We are grateful to the elders for their support. Uh, this is one of the speaker's longer speeches. So a 100% <laughs> uh, uh, shot percentage is always nice. No, no other record sent. Let's go find out who did the duty for us. Uh, dealt most damage, Boomer. He was booming today. Took the most shots was Nefertiti, and Alexei the Frog, he moved the furthest for us. So, uh, team effort, good job, guys. Morale is sure to be high after an operation like that. Very Great good, work, Commander. Very good. Uh, I see got the feeling that our overwatches were a way more effective than average on this particular mission. Let me know if you think I was wrong. Uh, it sure felt like they were connecting, eh? Avaroth, you got a promotion. Let's do it. And your pickup here is boosted cores. So explosive grenades do one additional damage. So potentially we have our damage output. Now the way grenades work, they give a range so I don't know if that one additional damage, I'm pretty sure it may. It may increase the minimum damage potential and the maximum damage potential. So no longer do we have to worry about grenades doing, you know, minimal one point of damage. Although combined with needle against unarmored enemies, you know, we, I, I, our minimum, what, could now be, isn't it normal? Was it normally one on a grenade? Now it's going to be one, two? So three would be the minimum damage on an uh, unarmored target. I go. I don't know. I guess we'll find it. Find out. Don't trust uh, Zigzag's math. Don't ever do that. But it, it it works something like that. I do believe. All right. We're not going to pick up any special perks yet. And let's move on and see what we got on this smash and grab. All right. No. Baby, 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 109 supplies on this one. We got a good haul. And, and remember, folks, we didn't even get all of the cartons because there were only five of us with six cartons. 16 alloys, two allurium cores, an advanced hair trigger, elite hair trigger. So what this does is for those, and we're going to have to make sure those that do overwatches or have the overwatching perks, get these. And they're advanced and elite. I'm not planning on selling those. An advanced core. <laughs> Anything that says advanced or above, I start holding on to those. Seven increased aim. All right. We've done it. We're back. So I don't think there's anything else going on in here. Let's just double check. We got three days for our power coil to become opened up. We got one day left on the lab, so we're looking good here. Let's get back out. I guess it's just a matter of getting back out and taking a look what's going on on the map. 
Nine hours for even more supplies, which really starts getting us into good shape. Magnetic weapons, five days. So there's lots of stuff coming up that we're going to have to spend on. Let's finish this so we can get back down here and start hunting for our Lib 3. That's very important for us. What I may do while we're here is do a quick jump to the black markets, just sell the cheap stuff that we have, which I don't think is a lot right at the moment, but we're, we're still going to look at selling it. Strategic resource located. Wow. Another 86 supplies. In the spring of 2015, a human or human military forces engaged in one of the first alien battleships in the skies over this area. The civilian populace below was devastated during the ensuing battle. We deployed teams to sweep for possible salvage, and they returned with a number of resources found scattered throughout the area. And we're going to go to the black market since we're so close. Avenger plotting new course. And then we make the long flight back to New Australia. Market is open. We'll go down here to an advanced, no, elite, no, advance, advance, no. Uh, a stock? Uh, even even that I'm, I'm tending to not. Let's go see. Are we still, advent officer corpse is still, we need to get to a new month so I don't have to worry about selling those to get extra money. Do all, I think all of my snipers right now have stocks. I'm pretty sure. That adds aim, so we'll hang on to it. And all these are advanced laser sights. We've picked up some good stuff. And while suppressors can come in handy, right now I need the money. And pretty much, I think, uh, here we go. There's extra will there. PCS conditioning, if we get anybody squishy. There's 13 will there. There's six, uh, You know, there's not a lot I'm looking to sell right now. Now, we had a, a data cache at 42. I have two data pads. So between a data cache and a data pad, I'm going to sell one of the data pads. That still gives us some emergency research to get intel if we need it. Alarium cores we're sitting at. Wow, 21. Do you think we can afford to sell just a few? I think 15 is a good number at this point in the game, and we're just going to do that and leave it at that. And we pick up a number, another 154, which will disappear, mind you, quite fast. But there's a lot of stuff I need to build coming up, so that's why I'm selling it while I'm here. And we're coming back down here to search. Setting course for the Australian sector. Because we need missions. That's that's our weakness right now, is we need missions. And let me just make sure I need to get Haven Advisors also. So uh, let's get that done. Let's see, Blue Jays back. How, when's our, our sick guys coming back? Uh, we got Mark Coach coming back in four days. Everybody else is still sitting out in the 20s. Machine Hater, Shiny Goblin. And then we got one more that's shaken down here, 23 days. Oh, those those big numbers just pain me, don't they? they I, 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 I hate those numbers. So uh, I guess, uh, Drummix, where are you? So we're just going to have you, Drummix, go in this one for now. And then uh, we're going to have... That's high, high vigilance here, so we're probably not going to have a lot of operations here. We still got you over there, and then I'm going to get you, Blue Jay. So we have bond mates pulled out, so uh, it's more likely that I'll remember that I have bond mates out there. All right, so the havens are set. Uh, what I'm going to start doing now in this haven, though, is uh, we're down to strength three, vigilance two. I think it's start. It's time to get everybody converted over, and this was pointed out. Thank you for comments to keep me posted. We're, we're, we're going to switch everybody to Intel again over here so we can start uh, finding missions up here also. And this is a, a larger haven than we used to have, so hopefully we'll get some good times even when we're not up there scanning with them. Now, let me just double-check Avenger loadouts real quick. I mean, not Avenger, but uh, 
Haven Advisor loadout, and then Drummix, you should be fine too. Yep, we're, we're good to go. Let's start scanning. And everybody is on Intel here, yes. Let's go, Lib3, we're looking for you. I appreciate the new lab facilities, Commander. All right, very good here. Let's view the facility. It's a beaut. And uh, I think what we need to do, we have an open scientist right here that we can put in here, and we're going to do just that. Improve our research time. Now, we have some locked upgrades, and we just don't have the power to be able to do it right now. So we at least have improved lab time, research time with one scientist, and we'll start upgrading to get some more in there as we can. So that's awesome. Now we're real close here. I can actually get this individual clearing here. That's a 37 days, but in three more days, there's gonna be some help coming along over here so you won't be doing it alone for long Phoebe and indoors I think we're done let's get back out there all right we finished some bond training now is the time to go check out and see if another bond pair are available whoops I went to the wrong building Munoz and Grinder are available. You guys are the next two in here to improve your bond. All right, we've read this before. It'll be nice getting this improvement on the bonds. Eight days, one timer to free up some more. Oh, up, 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 up. Did you see that first name? Let's let it come around again. This is the easiest way, if we can do it, to free up Spesh McList. There's no way I expected this so soon. But we have found Spesh McList without having to do a covert op. I knew it was a possibility. I just didn't expect it this fast. So it says a very light. Uh, eight days is good because I can get a full team of six out here to do this. Let me just check the stats down here in New Australia right now. Strength three. So that's why the baseline is 10 to 12. Uh, we do, if we want to do it, have the ability to over infiltrate. Oops, this is the other one. Let's ignore that. I clicked on the wrong one, of course. Jailbreak. This is the one I wanted. And we're going to go ahead and get in here. Because I want to do this one. And, you know, I might even choose only a team of five to go out on it. Just to be able to over-infiltrate and get below that very light a benchmark that's a possibility so i will be right back with my choices okay we are back and i decided to go with a full team of six for one reason and one reason only i want to make sure we get back special mclist uh, the two extra resistance personnel of course won't hurt at all so uh this is a team that's going out we got gleaser and his bond mate uh shane boom vanson we took her out of the haven to get her out back in the field again we got one laser rifle in this bond pair and uh, we're gonna get them some more experience so hopefully they can get into some bond training soon enough uh we got frog going back out as our shinobi along with his bond mate Avaroth. And uh, this pair has done well for us. I did upgrade Frog this time because we had an extra ablative laying around for some uh, close-up dudes I, I like when possible. Problem is, we're, we're out of trooper corpses to make any more. I think we got one left in supply, and that's it. So I still would... We, we got to get ourselves a recovery mission so I can get some more trooper corpses. 
But anyway, let's keep moving. We do have a specialist on this one, Dark Admiral, to help us open the doors and maybe get a reward from that. And we got Jay, Joker Kelly, along as with the laser cannon as our gunner. So we got three AP ammos on this one mission. Can you tell I'm prioritizing this little old mission here? And we upgraded. I do have an Overwatch kind of guy with Sentinel here. So guess who got our elite hair trigger? Yes, that is Dark Admiral. They picked it up, and he's not carrying a wimpy little SMG. He's got a regular old assault rifle to, to aid us in that endeavor. So that looks about it. I don't think I have anything else to explain other than I did add something somewhere. Oh, and an extra large magazine uh, for our sniper because it's always a pain when they have to reload. Other than that, let's get going. Ranger. In position to drop. Okay, we're probably going to have some more missions that we're going to need to infiltrate because there's absolutely, it's kind of scary when you when you get to a point and there's none pending. So let's get searching some more. Look at that. The power coil has been unleashed. Let's go down and view the room. Maximum power consumption reached. Well... We've already, I've already tipped my hand as to what I'm putting here. We are going with the Scilab. We're going to get right in there. We have way more than one Alarium Core 2 to get this done. Commander, we've pushed our current power systems to the limit. We don't have any capacity to spare, which means we can't expand our facilities further. Well, we know that. That's why we built it on the power coil. Now we're, <laughs> now we're going to have to go build some power so we can uh, keep expanding the base and growing. Okay, so we are going to have our Scilab in seven days. I know a couple of you are probably feeling good about that. Let's get our other engineers working over here. Okay, and that gives another 12 days so before we get some resources there. And sure would be nice to get another engineer now too, huh? So we're down to 317, even after spending. We really loaded up on the supplies. So you know uh, what I'm thinking that we will add right now? I'm thinking that we will add... Maximum power consumption reached. Uh, good old power relay is what I'm thinking. Power relay construction initiated. And as soon as this is done, we'll pop somebody over there. As a matter of fact, with our supplies being okay, let's move somebody over here. And I'm thinking you... Just so we can get our power online a little quicker in five days. That sounds really, really good. And we'll pop back over here once that's done. So uh, I'm feeling better now getting some things on board and going. I'm leaning because it would, if I did a workshop, it's not, it's not, I'm not sold on a workshop. But since our weakest category is engineers, I'm leaning towards a workshop here so the upgraded drones can can help in the power relays, I believe, and in approving grounds. So we'd have a place for those extra drones, not so much in the lab. But, um, and then we'll see what we can put here to maybe get a benefit from them too. So that's kind of at the back of my mind. Let me know what you think. Uh, if we end up coming up with some more engineers, that obviously wouldn't be such a big deal and not so important. So we'll see. We still need engineers for some late tech that's going to be coming up, but this is where we are at the moment. And right now, the only other Maximum facility power consumption reached. We're looking at it needing. We're going to need resistance comms. Let's face it, we will need resistance comms, and that's another thing. I think potentially, I'm not 100%. I'll have to look that up. If I put resistance comms here with a workshop here, gremlins from the workshop could help. I think in those three facilities, that's a possibility that I'm thinking about. Let me know what you think when you see this episode. Let's get back out there and search for some more missions. 19 hours, mag weapons. We still have 197 in supplies remaining. How about that? Okay, Mark, the coach is back from his wounds. Unfortunately, his bondmate, I believe... <laughs> 
I'm pretty sure is Machine Hater. So he's not going to go out with any bond mates anytime soon, but at least Coach is back. He is back. Oh, as a matter of fact, uh, I need to get a, a Haven Advisor over here. In fact, Coach, since you're without a bond mate, welcome back. We're going to throw you right in there to get you back on your feet. Now let's check your loadout because I have a feeling it may not be good since you've been out of the game a little bit. Yeah, it's it's not where we want it. Uh, I don't think, we'll just use regular ceramic plating for starters with you. And you're probably okay with what you're outfitted with at the moment. So, well, your mobility as it stands is 15. Well, yeah, why don't we throw a, a, an extra frag grenade in there, maybe? Or, yeah. And your mobility is still 15. So there you go. Welcome back, coach. This will give you a little time to get back on your feet, helping out in the haven. Then we'll get you out into the battlefield soon enough. Let's look for another mission. Uh-oh, this one's only four days, but you know what that means. This is a lib mission, lib three. And this one is uh, showing up as light moderate. It's always uh, higher. It's always a notch higher. And uh, we'll probably, this is one that you almost always, yeah, it's only four days. So I think, I think the way the game's set up, if I decided I can't do this, the next time we find lib three, it's going to have a better timer. I think, I think, 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 but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Strength three, yeah, it's like it's like two. That's why the force level is so big. These are always a little tougher. Plus, they can have faceless. All the faceless that could be in the haven could show up on this thing. So, yikes! I, I guess uh, it's it's all about let's find out if we can get a team in there to do this. It's also a large map, which works in our favor. So we'll be right back to see if I can get a team that I'm comfortable with and going out on this one. This also means I will not be over infiltrating the other Rescue Specialist List mission because uh, any intel I have now is reserved for this mission. All right, I'm still not sold on this mission, and uh, it's I kind of have the impression if I let it go and have it come around again, I'm going to get a better timer. But I also want to get moving and got to get this thing going is what I'm thinking. So I'm pushing it a little bit here. I tried it with a fifth soldier, but even boosted, that kept us at light moderate, 16 to 18. So the choice I had, go with a five-man team versus 16 to 18, and who knows how many faceless, or do a four-man team, boost it, and go 10 to 12 also with potential faceless out there. So neither one, <laughs> to be quite honest, inspires a ton of confidence. But this is the way I'm planning to do it. And just as one more reminder, it means we're probably not going to be boosting. So we'll go against 10 to 12 on our rescue mission uh, for Speshmik List more than likely. But you know, that has a team of six. So I'm a lot less worried on that one than I am this one. So anyway, let's uh, meet the team that's going out there. We got Gravedigger coming out with his Cal 13 bull pup. Hopefully, that will be good for us. We got Drummix along as our Shinobi with his bondmate Blue Jay. So Blue Jay provides uh, the flamethrower and the boom power with a rocket to hopefully help us out. And we got a running gunner in Carlos Sectoid. Uh, the big challenge is: Do we have enough? weaponry for the type of enemies we're facing these days and uh, there's one more thing i'm probably looking at doing here and i'm thinking with you grave digger i thought i might have i thought i had one more ap ammo sitting around in the in in the inventory apparently i do not apparently i do not so that was the only other thing i was thinking about giving somebody some ap ammo we do not have that. We're lacking the only way to shred that armor that we're going to most definitely be dealing with is right here. <laughs> From you, Jay, Blue Jay, with your one rocket. That has me a little concerned. 
right now. To be quite honest, that has me just a little bit concerned. Let me know your feedback because I can always pull this mission and wait for the next go around. Uh, share with me your thoughts from your experiences if you think it'd be better to wait. Uh, but right now, I'm a, I'm in green light go mode. So this is the team we're taking out. Gravedigger, Drummix, Blue Jay, and Sectoid. Sky Ranger deploy. Menace, ready to deploy. I have made a number of interesting discoveries. Holy Commander. smokes. Here's something. Maybe I pull that mission back like right now. <laughs> the problem is I don't know if even those few hours that went by just to, to load on a magnetic weapon on the team. <laughs> it's kind of the way I'm thinking. These magnetic based weapons are a lot like the early railgun prototypes. They fire projectiles at extremely high velocity. All right, so we can build uh, most of the above. Uh, and we do have enough money for one or two of them also. So, ooh, the upgraded gauntlet is available. Oh my goodness, there's all sorts of toys becoming available uh, potentially here. So, and inspired is combat armor. We'll take a look at that right now. And we received one mag rifle. Bring this down to six days really need to be working on this but for a six days on combat armor uh, I guess it's hard to pass that up right now is there anything I feel I need first that I must 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 do well let, let's also look here uh, how much for encryption four days but if I don't do this it goes away it's not inspired I will send word as soon as we have something of note Okay. Oh, let's let's jump back out here right now first, real quick. Maybe we should start training someone else. It's always the Avenger. <laughs> Never going to get any work done if Mr. Bradford can't keep the ship steady. So obviously, it, we we barely infiltrated. Don't get scared by that number over there. But the squad, is there somebody that could handle or use? Ooh, magnetic assault. Do I back this off and see if we can still make it in the uh, right amount of time if I built uh, a magnetic assault weapon? That sure would make me feel a whole heck of a lot better about this mission, I do believe. So uh, let's get back out here and recall this. Let's abort. And then we'll see if I can still get it down to the 10 to 12 with a four-man team. I will then still do it, but I want that magnetic weapon. Sky Ranger deployed. Squad secure. Lifting off. Okay, so now let's get back in here. Four days, ten hours. I sure as heck better be able to do it with a four-man team still. <laughs> that's that's kind of what I'm counting on. So let's uh, get moving. Now, is light, yeah, light 13 to 15 is what it was, wasn't it? Well, we're, we're going in here, so let's, let's, let's take a look. And I'll be right back as I repick this same team, build a magnetic shotgun, which I think I have the funds for, and maybe include one piece of AP ammo. I don't see why I couldn't have built AP ammo. So uh, we'll be right back. All right, guys, this happened just at the perfect time. We were able to get back in here and infiltrated or over-infiltrated. It'll still be at that very light 10 to 12 with a four-man team, which not easy. We still have hope. We still have hope. And you'll see some upgrades if you look at the blue uh, under their equipment here. We upgraded the Cal-15 Bullpup for Gravedigger to the MAG variety. We up we were able to upgrade a Gauntlet Mark II. Uh, I felt that might come in handy on this mission with our limited resources for damage. And rather than, because it's an advanced MAG weapon, we went with a MAG rifle for you, Sectoid. So you're not going to have the shotgun. 
but hey this could pack a punch also and we reattached the periphery so you have an advanced laser sight for additional crit chance on this thing too so hopefully we can really deal the damage about the only other thing that I did do is I added some AP ammo right there as a matter of fact I'm thinking maybe I should build one more so let's just do that just because it's only we 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 got to have more than one source to deal the damage. I'm gonna do it. It's gonna slow us down a tiny tiny bit, but you still have good mobility. Your mobility slowed down just a tiny tiny bit, but it's not bad when you factor in run and gun. So here we go, guys. Here we go. Now let's get back out there. Ranger deploy in position for deployment. All right. So this is a four-man team that packs more punch than any four-man team we've ever sent out there. Let's hope it's enough. And then uh, we have our folks up here getting situated. So now the strength is up at four. So it, it, it popped up one, but we'll 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 survive, I think. Uh, we'll, we'll cross our fingers that we'll survive. Now I pulled a couple individuals out. So let's get a couple more individuals back in as Haven Advisors. In fact, I think Commander Zigzag will go in as one. And I guess with that, I guess it makes sense to put in uh, the Bondmate as the other. So Nefertiti... You shall be this one. And we should, because we did not have promotions or anything. That's usually what throws things off. We haven't been in a sick day. So our loadouts will be fine. Let's keep scanning. Since we're here, let's keep scanning down here. And we went over to this area, 10 to 12. We have an engineer available it's sealed armor advent are deploying new armor based on materials that resist environmental effects so they're resistant to fire ice Ooh, how horrible is that six day timer i could maybe get a team of six but it's 10 to 12. it's an engineer though it's an engineer though <laughs> did i say that yet and it's a large map uh, we have potential team available and we need an engineer. I'm going to take a look at it and we're going to see if I feel comfortable with a team of five. Maybe we have a chance to over infiltrate a tiny, tiny bit. I don't know. I'm going to take a look at it. I do not like this though. Poison, fire, and ice. So uh, a, tech, a technical doesn't sound, a uh, technician does not sound uh, advisable on this particular mission. So let's see what I can put together. Setting course for Mexico. All right, guys, we'll be right back. You know the drill. All right, I decided on a team of a five for this one. There's a slight chance I might have fit a sixth individual, but uh, I think we're doing this with a team of five. It just makes sense to me. We do have uh, two laser weapons out here, a scatter ray and a laser rifle. I'm not because uh, I don't think SMG mag and we can't make mag sniper rifles yet. So there will be no weapon upgrades here. We do have the AP ammo. We got the gamer to provide the boom power. We got the scatter ray with increased. We, we did improve to an advanced laser sight to increase our crit chances with the scatter ray. So I think we're in decent shape with the weaponry we're carrying around on this one. There's a chance I could decide because on the mission we get done before this, our lib mission, we would gain more intel. So if I decide at the last minute it's worthwhile, we could over infiltrate, but I think we can still do it also on, on a 10 to 12 to try and gain ourselves an engineer. That's what I'm hoping for. So Antros as our sneaky guy to scout the way for us. We got Maltese and Grape Max the Grapevine as our bond mates, our lone bond mates on this particular team. Felipe H11 is going out and Lucian the Gamer 
is going to provide the grenade power. So that is our team, guys. Let's get infiltrated. Sky Ranger deployed. In position to drop. All right, so we're infiltrated here. Part of me also says we can, uh, although the strength popped back up again, but I have a feeling that's going to pop back down also again. Uh, I think what we'll do with Vigilance at 5 here, why don't we, since Vigilance is 1 here, why don't we pop on over to the uh, western U.S. and see what we can dig up over here. We definitely have decent numbers over here with eight individuals on intel over here i don't know how we even found a mission here with only four on intel but you know it's an engineer so we're trying it let's let's pop on over here setting course for western united states and we found a whooping a one day timer over here <laughs> I can see uh, it's one of our new soldiers that we could have brought on board, but uh, we're not going to be able to bring you on board in one day, two hours. So we will ignore this one. And this one is just a little bit better. I think the Lost, however, are on this one. This is a crate extraction with the Lost. Now, it went up to Force Level 4, I think with the Vigilance over here, we could slowly see things dropping as strength gets moved around somewhere else. What do you think? Should we take a chance? Can we get out a team of six on this one? Uh, it's going to be pushing it for a team of six, but we might be able to squeeze it in. I guess we'll take a look. Commander, you should be aware. We're detecting lost activity in this area. Our forces will need to be especially vigilant. Thank you, Tygen. We'll be right back. Okay, I'm planning this mission with a team of six. I'm also planning, more than likely, to boost this particular mission. And with a team of six, we can do that. I think I've uh, recalled the missions we have that are gaining us intel back. I know we're you know, spending intel on one, but we're gaining some back. So I'm thinking we'll have it available for this mission. Uh, hopefully... My rem remembrances are not wrong, but this is a team, and there's a lot of loud noises we make, potentially, with this particular team. But uh, I, I want a team of six when we're going for crates and whatnot, and it doesn't necessarily mean we always have to shoot the loud, big, loud boomers. It just means we have them available should the situation warrant it. So we've got uh, Commander Zigzag going on with his laser cannon, AP ammo, bond mate, Nefertiti, no relation, Jones got a scatter ray. Uh, yes, that is a new weapon for her. Scatter ray with extra crit chance with the laser sight. We got a boomer. You may notice a little upgrade in uh, in your hands there. We we built another mag rifle. We've pretty much spent our income now. Uh, these are the only mag weapons we'll have for the short term because uh, they're expensive. And obviously, as you found out, even with lasers, everybody can't have every pretty cool, shiny toy that we have out there. Uh, but this is a pretty, pretty strong team. We also got uh, Machine Hater Jr., Laser Master, with his laser lance on this one. And then we got Coach back out, finally back out in the field. You got your feet wet out in the haven helping out there, and now you're ready to help us uh, gather some supplies. And then finally... We got Paul Forrest Reynolds. Officially, I think this is your first mission uh, since we brought you on board. And you have that support role. So we'll see if that works for us. If you even want to do a flashbang in support to draw more lost into the battle, one never knows. But we shall see. Other than that, uh, at, least, at least we have two if we can avoid the booms to help pick us and mark crates at least and we have some heavy hitters with the rest of us so uh, we'll see how this works out eh and i'm thinking with vigilance of one maybe by the time this mission rolls around maybe some of that strength will have gone away too you never never know in this particular game do we you now let's get down there
Sky Ranger did. We're in the pipe. Five by five. All right, so uh, we officially don't have anybody left on the team. In fact, I don't think I have anybody that can be Haven helpers at all because our ranks are too low, yada, yada, yada. So we don't have anything to do for the short term. We have nobody now to send back out for the short term, and we got missions that will be coming up soon enough. Down here, we got a jailbreak. We got a uh, yeah. We got all sorts of infiltrations going now. We got four missions pending. So this is one of those rare times where I'm going to come down to the oh, skirmisher headquarters to try and help us build a little faster. I can't make any new contacts. Nothing really to sell in the black market or to spend. As you can see, two supplies. I'm good at spending, don't you think? And we'll just leave it at that. Setting course for the Mexican Regional Tract. All right, we got our bond mate. So actually, technically, we have two more individuals available. Alatrista, Mike Munoz, and Dave the Alien Grinder. So do we have a covert action? Seal Corpses is a three-man. Uh, we could. There's a chance, 7% chance for ambush. But you know, guys, uh, I'm thinking uh, starting to look for the hunter might be the time to do it. Since you'd just be sitting around twiddling thumbs, we could put you into havens. But I think this might be the best way to go. Uh, let's get you to, well, Mike Munoz, I guess you Commander, got the lead. At this point, we've committed so many of our soldiers to conducting covert actions that we're running low on manpower for our own <laughs> tactical operations. Bradford. We'll need to recruit new forces if we're going to keep this up. Bradford, please listen. We were low before we did this covert operation. Please understand. Uh, let's hope we don't get ambushed. It's a small chance, but, you know, once you start... Relying on those percentages, that's when it happens. Uh, let's get out there. It's a 10-day operation. We won't have these guys. The other thing... Now, I think we, we need to start progressing here, and then maybe we can think about locating another faction. We will work hand-in-hand -hand with our new allies. All right, we have a new target. Let's take a peek. Not that we have anybody to send out. Nine hours, you know? I don't think we're doing this lib mission. Power relay now operational. Oh, look at that. So we have some new power. So that's pretty cool. Let's just step back out here and take a peek here. Uh, what do we have the ability? An engineer can be used to increase power. Uh, that's why I'm kind of leaning toward gating funds and maybe going with the workshop here because gremlins can uh, increase our power. Uh, we got gremlins going to help speed up the proving ground. And then I'm also thinking gremlins, but tell me if I'm wrong, can help us with our resistance contact building that I'm thinking we need right here. But then again, we, we have a chance to rescue an engineer coming up too. So maybe we don't need that. I, I, it's a tough call. And once we finish digging out all these buildings down here, we're going to have less need of engineers at some point. We just need to have make sure we have enough for various researches. So later, later researches. So let's get back out here. We, we got to have a mission coming up soon here. And what have we got here? Oh my God, this is the one that came up first. Wow. So uh, this is where we get infiltrated and over-infiltrated -infil first. Uh, the resistance contacts, so it also gives us back 24. We're going to spend 25 intel, get back 24, which is good. But this is our next mission. This is the team going out, a little old team of four. It's a good team. It's an experienced team. we got Drummix as our Shinobi. This is Bond Mate Blue Jay. Our Robinson is our technical. Uh, Grave Diggers along as our Skirmisher. And we, we've got some fun weaponry on this team, too. And Carlos Sectoid also going out as our Assault. So uh, we have four hours remaining to infiltrate, but we're, we're going to be boosting this one. We're going to be boosting this one. 
uh, because right now I don't want to do a four-man uh, infiltration with 13 to 15 enemies. So uh, come back next time, and I'll boost uh, between uh, recordings to make sure we get in there the way we want and see if we can get this done. Because right now it says 95% infiltrated. Now, why did it stop here if we're 95? Because it said when we looked at the squad, we got four hours to go. So uh, let's just see. Maybe I did I look at the wrong mission that 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 that's well it must be because it's telling me to return to the Avenger. So it's it's done. It's and it says right here, mission expiring must launch or abort. So uh, we are we are we're not going in at ninety five percent if infiltrated, I'll tell you that much. So uh, I will be boosting, and it should get us down to where we want it, at least 10 to 12, but I would prefer even more. But 10 to 12, we can at least, I think that's what I was counting on with a four-man team with some power. <sighs> Hope you enjoyed today's mission. It seems like a long time ago we had a mission. A lot has happened in between. A lot has uh, been upgraded in our base, in our weaponry, and all sorts of stuff. We have our first covert operation out there. So this is a busy little old episode that we have here. Come back next time and see if we can handle this really, really difficult, or what can be a really, really difficult mission. And let's hope we don't have what I've seen happen out there before and nine faceless appear on this mission to make it darn near impossible. We can cross our fingers and hope that doesn't happen. This is Zigzag Zog signing off from somewhere in this world. Thanks so much for watching, and I do hope to see you next time. And by the way, the link for the next episode will appear as soon as it's ready. Thanks so much.